Hey, what's up? Alex from Motionland here. And in this video, I'll show you what is new inside a viewer 2.2. And let's start with the long awaited EXR sequence support. Finally, you can preview and import them right inside After Effects with a double click or with drag and drop, or even replace the imported layer on the timeline. EXR format can include lots of metadata, so it might take some time to load the folder with the files for the first time. But the next time you open the folder, a viewer will load the cached version instantly. If you update your sequences and want to get a new preview, you can clear the cache for a specific sequence or whole folder. Currently, a viewer supports the following EXR compressions. SVG format can also be previewed and imported now as any other format. It would be automatically converted to a shape layer after the import. Please note that some SVG can include styling that is not supported by After Effects. Another improvement goes to the FFX format. A viewer can now decode all encoded previews inside FFX, so all default FFX shipped with an After Effects now have animated previews. This version extends a viewer shortcuts capabilities. You can now navigate through the files using A and S keys with the A viewer window active. Import files using the enter or return key on Mac. And with folder step opened, shift plus number key will open the favorite folder quickly. And control or command plus F will activate the search bar. We heard your feedback and improved fonts and images loading speed dramatically. So now, all font files load almost instantly, and you can install the missing font via context menu. Previously, a viewer could not handle large images, but not anymore. We've built a cache for large files, so now all images will be displayed. Another great addition might become handy if you work with lots of compositions. The new Generate Comp Preview script allows you to create previews for compositions in a matter of seconds. Just choose the preview based on your current time indicator or actual frame and click Generate. Done. You can now open compositions simply by clicking on the image preview. Also, the big thumbnail mode now has a handle where you can resize the preview image and see more details. And within the file context menu, you can now delete files. This version has many other small features like improved auto scroll to previously opened folder, files drag and drop to import, improved batch add file to collections, and many more. Let us know which feature you like the most, and I'll see you in the next video.